All right, big tech censorship swung the 2020 election toward Joe Biden, and not much has changed in the last couple of years. Candidate Vivek Ramaswamy claims he was censored by LinkedIn after posting videos showing his viewpoints on climate change and Biden's relationship with China. Videos, he says, were removed by LinkedIn, which is now saying censoring Ramaswamy was nothing more than a technical glitch. And Vivek joins us tonight. Sir, it's good to have you back on the show. What exactly do you say happened here? Well, it's actually pretty clear. We published the emails. It's actually very funny to me, Rob, which is LinkedIn now claims it's a technical error. In fact, they came back to me on email when we asked about why I couldn't access my account. They cited three videos that they said violated their policies for misinformation, hate speech, and violence, where I said things that were problematic, like fossil fuels are a requirement for human prosperity or that actually Biden is being played by China. A lot of these were supported by facts in the very videos that I posted. We went back and forth. There are multiple emails. But the good news is when this got escalated to senior management, and I actually made it actually a public statement about it, they started getting media inquiries. They recharacterized it as a mistake. So we've seen that pattern from big tech time <laughs> and again. It's less about me, though, because if they can do it to me, they can do it to anybody. And I think it's really important to show up on the other side's turf and actually win. That's what I did here. It's, it's amazing how shameless they can be. And, and, and you're right. As, as soon as it gets exposed, they realize they're going to get caught or they have been caught. Uh, it, it turns into a yep. mistake. It's odd. It wasn't a mistake in the beginning. How, how do you wrangle? I mean, th this is a big part of, I think, why you're appealing is, is that, you know, you kind of know this world. How do you wrangle control mm -hmm. of, of, of big tech? And I think most of, of corporate America in this country uh, that has just rapidly changed. Um, you know, your political views as a candidate are, be, are being censored. This is a very new thing to people in this country. It happened so fast that, that the left took over these institutions. Well, look, I think a lot of the problem was that actually even Republicans conferred special crony privileges onto these companies for a very long time. That the companies themselves yeah. concluded that, you know what, Republicans, they always love big business. They're never going to really come after us. We're just going to get married to the left which they used to view as the actual threat to their power. So what's the right answer? Well, I believe that we need to roll back many of those crony privileges. Take Section 230C2 that protects tech companies like LinkedIn. There are state laws that say that LinkedIn cannot do what they did to me. However, this would say that somebody who's censored cannot sue under those state laws because the federal law, Section 230C2, the product of lobbying, protects them. My view is we need to convert that into an opt-in statute. If you want the protections of the federal government, fine. Then you're bound by the same constraints as the federal government. That means the First Amendment to the Constitution. The point is, Rob, I understand these things deeply. I think we have to stay objective. We've got to stay clear-headed. Logic is on our side. That's why I'm running for the presidency, not based on vengeance and grievance, but based on first principles and moral authority. That's how we're going to go even further to actually get it done. Yeah, you, you make su such a great point. I mean, they, they, I, I think that th these these corporations, these industries all took a, a, a solid look at it. And they said that, you know, from the left comes the biggest threat to whatever it is, capitalism, our low taxes, uh, any of the things that they vilify constantly. They said, you know what, if we pander to that side uh, and we win them over, uh, we, we've, 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 we've got a future. Uh, if we don't, uh, we're in yeah. trouble. And they said, well, we're, you know, conservatives have always had our back, so we're not going to lose them. So we'll flip over here. We'll turn woke. We'll start saying all this nonsense and doing all these things that are just just categorically just make no sense uh, from, from the perspective of mm -hmm. the business. These businesses are not acting like businesses at all lately. I mean, uh, in, in so many different examples. And they said, you know what, let's, let's try it this way. And they're, they're, not, they're just not scared of the Republicans uh, in any way. Well, Rob, I wrote about this in my first book, Woke Inc., and I lived this. This started in the back of the 2008 financial crisis. Republicans made a mistake on the back of the 08 crisis. President Bush and Hank, Treasury Secretary Hank Paulson bailed out the big banks in this country. Now this is paying back the dowry for that arranged marriage, effectively saying that if you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. That was born in 2008. My point, Rob, is I understand this stuff deeply. I'm not a politician. I come from the world of having succeeded in the world of business. But now I've stepped aside from that world because I want to be unconstrained by what I say. I was listening to the last segment. Unconstrained by donors in the Republican Party. 
many of whom are a big part of the problem. Yeah. That's why I've used my success. I wrote an eight-figure check into this campaign. We need Republicans who are unconstrained by the puppet masters, and that's a big part of why I'm in this race. Speak truth unapologetically. Do it based on principle. That's how we win. Well said. Vivek Ramaswamy, thank you so much. Good to see you. Good to see you. Coming up here after the break, the clown show continues in Chicago where a hapless governor and a new mayor 